Hi. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. What the hell is this? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Let's fix this. Okay. Alright. I like this. So how are we doing guys? Um, happy New Year's. By the way, I talk with my, I've said this before, haven't I? I talk with my hands, so you just have to get used to it, whatever. Um, it's a bit delayed, <laughs> to say the least. I think we are, yep, it's the 25th of January, so we are three weeks in, well, three, quick months, you know? We're almost at the end of January, but, um, I can explain. I had exams, and, um, they went well i have to get the train in about 30 minutes so this is like an impromptu get ready with me um slash um accomplishments of 2018 the best of 2018 slash um our goals for 2019 i'm about to go see my family for the weekend um so yeah i'm gonna just do my makeup really quickly i'm gonna do my makeup and i'm gonna talk to you trusty makeup bag we're gonna need to improve this in 2019 like this isn't levels it's not levels like we need to get a new makeup bag sorry a look back at 2018 2018 was a really it was a, it was a pretty good year for me i mean i think it was i accomplished so much by the way, I'm looking at, if you see me look this way, it's because I'm looking at the mirror. So, I mean, I don't want to mess up my eyebrows, so I'm going to have to come in a little bit close. I was proud because a lot of the things that I had been saying that I was going to do for the longest time, I finally got to do it. I got, I finally got to do it. I finally was able to actually um, carry these goals out. They weren't just on paper. You know, and that's what I'll say, like, you know, when you're making goals this year, make things that you actually have the intention of doing. It's not just putting down these things, because when you're putting down these things, you know, you have faith that, um, you know, that you're going to accomplish it. Whether people want to call it the law of attraction, people want to uh, call it whatever, I'm a Christian, so I call it faith, you know? So when I'm putting something down, I'm having faith that I'm going to, you know, follow through with it. But the Bible says faith without works is dead, you know? Meaning you actually have to get up off your ass and actually do something about it. So I did last year, um, you know, and I accomplished a lot. One of the things that I said I was going to do last year was travel. And boy, did I travel. <laughs> I was everywhere. I went to how many continents? I was in Europe, I was in America, and I was in Africa. So I had a wonderful time. I did put the vlog footage out there from each of my trips. So if you want to like go back to like my old videos, you'll get to see them. So, one of the things about me is that I don't like to be brought out of my comfort zone. And going to different countries was definitely out of my comfort zone. For many reasons. Um, obviously, there's the fear of the unknown. And then also, I have this, um, this other fear that I will touch on later on in this video. That kind of has kind of, well, I wouldn't say hindered. No, I will say hindered. Hindered me from traveling the way that I should. And it's, um, it's really Siri. It's Siri? Siri? It's really silly, but it's real. It's really real for me. And it's one of the things that I actually plan on tackling this year because we're not functioning on fear this year. We're just not going to do it, you know? There's, like, there's too many things out in the world, you know? that are waiting for me and I can't let things like fear stop me from you know being who God has called me to be this is that I went I went to okay we started off the year I went to the UK pretty simple stuff but still I took a boat to the UK a boat a ship ferry that's the word I took a ferry to the UK so that was a new experience I think I have that vlog. I do have that vlog out. 
Um, after the UK, where did I go? For my birthday, I went to Germany with my um, to go see my aunt, and we had an amazing time. And she, you know, she was so sweet. You know, she didn't have to, but she flew me out for my birthday, and you know, she basically took care of me. Appreciative to you. Thank you so much, for Auntie. I appreciate that. Um, then after Germany, it was Spain. And uh, Spain was a girl's trip. And Spain was basically like after exams were finished, which was a good, th which was, an, uh, that's another one of my accomplishments. So I did well in my summer exams, um, leading into third year. So I was really happy about that. And I worked for a while. So after my exams were finished, I didn't go straight into like fun mode. I literally went back to work and I worked like a dog for I think three to four weeks and I'm a, I, I work as a waitress part-time well at that time I was working full-time and you know it was real like sometimes 12 hour shifts and literally for like there was a time when I did 13 days consecutively and like my feet were swollen and I think I was limping for a shift for three hours to the point where the manager had to call me and be like what is wrong with you like what what are you doing but um I had a lot of things that I wanted to do I had a lot of places that I wanted to go so I mean I was I was willing to put in the work for you know the, the cash monies <laughs> so um yeah what was I saying so we went to Spain and Spain was one of the most fun trip ever I mean, I would, I would have to say like, and you know, I went there with uh, kind of like my sisters and then I met a new girl, Yemisi, she was so sweet. Um, we had an amazing time. So then after, immediately after Spain, like I think a week later or two weeks, we went straight to America, Atlanta, and it was my first time there. And people tend to think because of my accent that I'm American. Um, I basically grew up watching a lot of American television, so that kind of influenced the way I speak and uh, people tend to think I'm from there so I kind of fit in you know when I went there I think at least I think anyway so they thought I was from there whatever, whatever. so I'm like oh my god you accept me thank you <sighs> moving on I went to go see my cousins went to go see my aunt <laughs> It never happened from beside me. Yeah. You just freestyle. Um, I kind of have family everywhere, you know. So it was my, it was great experiencing my first time there with them, and um, I had so much fun with my cousins and stuff like that, and you know, I really. I really got to experience family more last year like I'm very family and friend orientated but it really kind of made me appreciate what I have more so like I had a it was it was great it was it was an amazing experience and I made a lot of new friends and at least now I know if I go back you know it's not like starting from scratch I have people there you know and I know a few places so yeah, that was amazing. After America, we were actually supposed to go straight to Nigeria, but plans changed and I ended up going to Scotland. And you know, there's there's things that happen and sometimes it's like you don't understand. I'm supposed to be doing my makeup while I'm talking. Some things that happen that you don't understand why. And you know, it may seem like the worst thing ever, but now I understand why, you know. At the time, I was so upset that my trip to Nigeria was so was cancelled, but I realized that it was for the best. If I had gone for my trip, I basically wouldn't have been here for the for the um, for the retreat. And after this video, after I release vid this video, that's gonna be the next video I I release. It was a Christian retreat for our zone and basically we got to see all of the other brethren from different campuses and different fellowships and everything when we came together we would run in the morning we would pray 
we have worship sessions, we'd eat, we'd commute with each other, we'd laugh, we'd play games. It was so fun. I made so many amazing friends there and like it was such it was such a beautiful it was a beautiful experience like first two days I came like my face was beat after after like the second or the third day and there's nothing wrong with make, makeup anyway but like after the second or the third day I was so at peace that my my makeup was makeup wasn't was the last thing on my mind I just stopped doing my makeup and I basically my wig was in a was just like doing some kind of, some kind of hindi haga you know and um more or less what I'm saying is that I enjoyed myself and I you know it wouldn't have been possible if you know if I had if I was in Nigeria and funny enough as a result of going to that camp I ended up I found out that there was a program that we were going to be having in Nigeria so I ended up still going to Nigeria anyway two weeks later for um, ICPLC um, and that's a program with my man of God, Pastor Chris, and it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. So um, again, a lot of us went. So I got to commune with with the brethren again. I got to hear a lot of words from our man of God, and yeah, it was the best experience. Christians have the most fun, you know. But yeah, we had an amazing time. I'm gonna add some footage here anyway. Um, but yeah. So, traveling was one of the things that I said I was going to do last year. Another thing I said I was going to do was give more. And um, I, I, I went beyond my, my means. And the thing about it is that I believe in, I, I, I strongly and I firmly believe that you you can never lack if you're a giver so i made up my mind that i was going to give more you know in this in the new year you know and um as a result of doing that i was blessed beyond measures um i have a few testimonies but i might save it for another time but i will share one of them now where i had an opportunity to give basically on the way to the program in nigeria i stopped over at heathrow it was a heathrow airport and basically you know somebody had paid for my ticket to go for this program and i had some money in my account that i was planning to use for to pay for the to pay for my way to pay for to pay for me to go to the program but because somebody else had paid for it i basically wasn't able to use that money but then i went to the air i was at the airport and i was waiting for the joining flight and um i was trying to doze off and fall asleep and you know it's an airport it's not that it wasn't um it wasn't very comfortable so i was finally starting to doze off and all of a sudden I heard tongues now if for some of you who don't understand or know what I mean you know the Bible talks about um, those who have the Holy Spirit being able to speak in tongues um, it's kind of it's a heavenly language between you and God people around you aren't able to understand what you're saying but God understands what you're saying and it's kind of like um, it's it's kind of like an encyclopedia translator because it's like sometimes you may not have the words to speak to God but um, when you speak in tongues it kind of widens your vocabulary so it's like you know like basically you're able to communicate what you wanted to communicate even though you don't necessarily understand what you're saying um, I heard tongues and the tongues I, I, I opened my eyes and I turned around my eyes were still like it was still blurry right I, and I was like, where is that coming from? I literally got up off my seat and I went and I started looking. <laughs> so imagine like, it's like three in the morning and I'm here like, okay, I'm hearing somebody speaking in tongues and these tongues were drawing me. They were drawing my spirit. Like they were 
they were pulling my spirit and I, I got up off my seat and I was like walking and trying to find where it was from. And then I basically found who it was and uh, it was actually a, sist uh, a pastor from our ministry that I knew and she was also going for the same program. And I said I knew those tongues. I don't necessarily know them like that. So it's not like I knew them and I was like, oh yeah, that's her tongues. Her tongues pulled me from my sleep. So literally I came and I woke up and I came and I sat with them. And as I was sitting with them, uh, there was a brother there and I was like, oh cool, you're going for the program too. And he said, in the name of Jesus, amen. Basically what that brother did, and I found it so amazing. <laughs> he had brought his suitcase. He had brought his um, suitcase. He was packed and ready to go for a flight that he basically hadn't paid for, more or less. Like he was basically there without, he didn't have a flight, like he didn't have a flight, a ticket. But because of his faith, he knew somehow, some way, shape or form that he was going to go for the program. Like it was so much on his heart and you know, he was led by faith and he literally came to this airport and he was sitting there and his faith, it moved me. And then I realized why those tongues actually pulled me from my sleep. It was so that I could be the bridge between this person's faith and making it a reality you know i mean god isn't going to come down from heaven and basically make things happen for you he uses his saints and you know on earth to perform you know certain tasks or whatever it may be and i was a i was able to be used in that way to bless that brother so we started laughing and I basically you know we were talking about the flight and I realized what I had in my account was exactly what he needed for his flight and in that moment of course tickets to Nigeria isn't cheap y'all like let me tell you something especially when you're paying a day before it is not cheap but so I you know although I was excited to be in this position I was like wow Am I really gonna do this, you know? When you ask God for something, he's gonna give it to you. You're asking for opportunity to give more, he's gonna give you that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So, I knew that this was, and I, I knew that in giving, I would never lack, and I knew that it was, it was room for increase, because whatever you give, whatever you give, isn't bigger than you more or less like if you if you hold on to something and you're reluctant to give it out it, it almost holds it, it's it's almost bigger than you but when you're able to give it out you know it doesn't hold as much I hope I'm trying am I communicating something here I don't even know so basically we paid for this brother's flight and um, my flight was before his but it was so amazing getting there and then seeing him there because I knew that I made that possible you know that kind of thing and um, those are the things that really matter because now because I listened to what God was saying and did what I knew I was supposed to do that brother came and he might have heard words that would have changed his life forever. You never know. You might be you might be the reason for someone's blessing. So don't take it for granted. I'm so thankful because I know I'm gonna do more. And I'm and now I know that a certain amount of I'm I'm bigger than a certain amount of money. And this year, another one of another of my goals um, is to give more and to give more of myself. I was planning to do like a whole um, like a whole charity drive, but because of time and everything, it, and just I wasn't as organized as I wanted to be, I basically wasn't able to do what I wanted in, in, in the best way. I ended up just bringing it to a local um, clothing drive, 
thing. I don't know what they're called. You know, when you put the clothes into like the big bin. So humbling to me because um, God was able to use me in that way. How have I spent like, you see this get ready with me thing is gonna take me a while to get used to, I'm not even gonna lie. How have I used like, how long have I spent on eyebrows? Anyway, what I'm happy about is that, you know, the rest isn't, it's not hard to do. I'm, I'm, I'm relatively quick with the rest of the steps. So another thing that I am, um, proud about <laughs> is, um, although I wasn't as consistent as I wanted to be with my YouTube channel, I, my editing skills got so much better you know my editing skills got way better and i was able to improve on my ability so i was a bit more committed to like vlogging and actually um what's the word yeah vlogging and um basically committed to even though even if i'm tired still bringing out the camera and like taking it with me and making that commitment to actually film irrespective of how i feel now that didn't happen all the time so for 2019 i guess my one of my things is to be more consistent now a video a week i'm gonna be more committed to actually doing this because i really want to have three solid things that i'm doing and three solid forms of income this year Another thing that I accomplished in 2018 was I finally opened my website. I've announced that in previous videos. There were a lot of issues. One of the things was that the choker, the choker uh, straps kept breaking. Secondly, it was like a one size fit all. And not everybody's necks are the same. Some people's necks are thinner, some people's necks are thicker. Nothing wrong with it. I just needed to be able to cater to all of them. And having a one size fit all just wouldn't work, you know? Anybody that did buy a choker from me, it kept breaking. And when I said breaking it would break like within how would you say like 10 minutes do you know how annoying that is and how discouraging that is oh it was the worst but um eventually i figured out velcro would be good so i eventually used velcro it actually worked out better because now it could fit uh it could fit whoever I wanted it to fit really even if you had the, the neck the size of you know like it was gonna be able to fit you anyway and um, so that was great so then another issue was the fact that I had created my website and with um, a particular company and after creating the website literally I was so happy and so proud of it it wasn't compatible for safari so people weren't going to be able to use their phones to shop on my website which was stupid because people use their phones for everything so i was annoyed about that as well so literally that took me out for like another i don't know how many months so literally like two years later <laughs> i eventually um as a result of the camp i met a sister who had a wonderful website and i'm gonna link her you know she's also an artist she's very she's cre she's creative she's beautiful she's amazing she's everything thank you i love you very much sister k2 i love you so yes so she basically i looked at her website and i was like oh i like this and i met her at the camp and um basically i paid her to do my website and she did an amazing job and that was it so that was a that was a huge milestone let me tell you right now like i was excited about that so following from that for 2019 um i want to be more consistent in publicity of this website and i want to expand this website so at the moment we only do chokers but i want to like go to I want to do some earrings i want to do maybe some brooches and eventually expand to whatever i mean the sky's the limit actually no the sky is our starting point hey we're gonna keep it really simple i don't think i'm gonna do anything else just lip gloss my lips be ashy oh yeah 
Just some lip gloss. It's really not that deep today, so we're just gonna do like a very light, a very light tap, I guess. Very simple and nice, you know. No lashes, no eyeshadow, no nothing. It's very simple, like just it's 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 cool. Like, do you know what I mean? It's fine. It's fine. I'm still cute. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cute. Do you disagree? And if you disagree, you can go somewhere. No, I'm I'm joking. Stay. I love you. I do. All right, guys. Time is going. So really quickly, I'm just gonna run through the rest of the things that I want to do for 2019. Because I was kind of just speaking from the heart. This is my final year of my optometry degree. So I want to graduate with an optometry degree. So that is my first. I'd like to travel more, but not as much as well. Let, let me not let me not limit myself, but I would like to travel more. So I have my eye on Australia. I have a few friends there, so that could be good. Dubai is a big one. So after my exams, Dubai is something that I have strong on my like it's it's there. And I would love to go to America again. So I'm gonna put those are my three main and then Nigeria because I mean home. Okay, I need to learn to drive. I am 22 going on 23 have not learned how to drive and it's a bit shameful but you know we're just going to just move on we're going to let it go we're just gonna be he's gonna be sweet he's gonna be okay i don't want to want you to worry about it okay i already mentioned about one video a week let's you know let's see how that let's see how that works <clears throat> okay um i'd also love to pay off my student loans i'd like to save some money by I'd have I'd like to have a certain amount saved by the end of the year. I'd like to get over my fear. Now this is the fear that I was talking about that was hindering me from like you know going to different countries. I have a fear of birds. It's a very strange fear. You know, other people are normal people are are afraid of spiders, snakes, you know, things that are in zoo. In the zoo, mine is everywhere. If I walk out of my house, they're there. It's birds. It's not fair, it's not funny, but it's funny to look at, but it's terrifying for me. And uh, it really has kind of stopped me from like doing a lot of things this year. So I'm gonna, I'm, I might do a series where like, cause they frighten me, I don't, the, the, God is good. God is good. <laughs> I'd like to model a little bit. Now, I don't know whether I'd want to do it professionally or maybe just kind of build a portfolio. I mean, everyone's a model these days, right? You have an Instagram account, you're a model. I'm sorry if that offends some actual models, but yeah. In order to model, I actually have to be a bit fit. Now I'm slender, I'm skinny, but I'm not very fit. I would like some abs, so that would be nice. So fitness is another thing. I think that's one for everybody. Um, I would love to read the Bible from uh, from Genesis to Revelations like this year. So that's uh, that's a goal for me. I'd like to grow my social media platform. So that is YouTube and Instagram for the meantime. Anyway, take care of my appearance more. Now, I mean, I'm not a tomboy. Like I used to be bad. I used to be worse. But we praise the Lord for growth. We praise the Lord for improvement. I'm definitely better than what I was before. Let's just let's just say that to pray more this year and um, yeah, definitely pray more. These are a few of my goals or my main goals for 2019. And by the speed of the Holy Spirit, we're getting it done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for um, subscribing. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also make sure you hit the notification bell. I'm going to start off the new year by saying that. So notification bell so you can get notified every time I post because you don't want to miss it. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Okay. Have a lovely day. Bye.